Hello everybody. I thought while I've still got my voice, I will show you one of my all-time favourite machines. This is a heavily worn Frister and Rossman Cub 4, made in Japan. <laughs> now, the Japanese uh, Frister and Rossmans were brilliant. Obviously, we know Frister and Rossman were originally from Berlin. But the big thing with Frister and Rossman is they were always the best of the best. They, they maintained a level of quality all through. And in Europe, the Frister and Rossman were one of the great names. Uh, they were known all over the world. In New Zealand, it was sold as a globe. In America, Jaguar, White, all sorts of other names. But, but in Europe, it was the Frister and Rossman. The Cub 4 is like a little magic thing. It looks small, but it's very heavy. It's all solid, but it's got lots of little gimmicks. Look at that little free arm thing, and look how the look how the this opens up and that opens up, and that comes out like they make a little thing like that. And then if you want, you can lift that right out, and that gives you access to to the shuttle and everything. And just there, that's that's a drop feed. So if you move that teeth drop down for free motion. And on here, let me just put my glasses on. On here, you've got the different patterns that you see. So you've got all the different patterns. You've got elastic stitch, you've got shell stitch, blind hem stitch, buttonholes, and you just turn that and it does it. And on the side there, you've got length of stitch. I must do a YouTube about length of stitch because that confuses so many people. All the computer ones give you in metric, all the other ones give you in English. So we need to talk about that sometime. That's your zigzag, that's your reverse. Very, very straightforward, and of course, most important of all, your tension. But watch this, this, this machine has been hammered, um, and yet, it still does a perfect stitch. I mean, it's as noisy as anything, but when you look at the quality of the stitch there, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't matter how much you pay, you're not gonna get a better stitch than that. So, I mean, basically, the other thing with Frister and Rossman is the Quitman family. They were the main importers, and the Quitman family went in the 80s and 90s. Uh, they, had, they had a little unit up in Heathfield. I used to drive up there, and old man Quitman was still there, very softly spoken, very gentle chap, and Ben, the top engineer, and Tim Lavoie, the, the brilliant salesman, he, he, he lived down Brightonway. My God, he could sell, he could sell oil to OPEC. He was just amazing. And uh, yet, sell anything to anyone. And they, everything was a flurry. Um, and of course, they're all gone now. But, but actually, one of the young engineers, he, he now works for, I believe he works for what was called Bromley World of Same, but now just World of Same, which is a whole load of shops in, in the Southeast area. And they have some fantastic machines. Mainly the one, the favourite ones they sell that I like are the Juki machines. Yeah, but I just wanted to show you this. It's a bit of a time warp machine. The Cub 7, which is the later model than this, had a little button there. You press a button and a little arm sort of jumped out of the back to stabilise it. Absolutely beautiful machine. Yeah, I thought you just might like to see that. I thought you might. <laughs> and oh, I love it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you all about, I must also tell you about oil because so many people ask me about what different oils and, and of course I know all about that. But for now, I thought you might like to see a Frister and Rossman Cub 4 in action. Right, back from the glory days, Japanese quality, the best of the best. Oh, I'll tell you one thing before I go. This was so popular when it first came out, they were selling over a million of these a year. Wow, not bad, eh? <laughs> Bye for now.